Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. Gonna read through the full article pretty much. Gonna show you a video in just a couple of seconds. There's a link in the description. This is a bit of lunacy in my opinion. I'll be throwing a little bit of facetious sarcasm uh, as means of a commentary uh, whilst I go through this. It's in regards to a complete and utter plonker, a climate activist, part of a, a group called uh, I'll show you the name of the group, the Let's Generation, which is Germany's version of Just Stop Oil. And this guy here thought it would be a really, really good idea to stick his hand. Yeah, there it is. That's a hand to stick his hand in a road, in a main road, in a high, in a high, like a highway kind of road in Mainz in Germany. He thought it would be a really good idea to stick his hand in the middle of the road to super glue it and to apply sand over the super glue what's the uh, reasoning for putting the sand on top of the super glue the reasoning is if you put sand over the super glue then you can't use whatever chemical formula would dissolve the super glue um i'm sure there's a technical term which i'm not aware of uh, but uh, yeah, the super glue basically can't be removed by anybody. So the emergency medical workers, they did try. They tried a number of different methods to remove his hand safely from the tarmac to which he super glued his hand. But they failed to do so. So they ended up chopping up the road and sending him on his way. That is currently what his hand looks like let's play the video for you i've put it on mute uh, because we're just going to hear someone talking in german and i wouldn't want to subject anybody to that so as i say he's an activist climate uh climate change activist part of the let's generation germany's version of just stop oil just stop oil have been doing a number of acts of activism which does include vandalism spray painting all kinds of different properties um automobile manufacturer like showroom showrooms for bugatti ferrari they've done all of this in london and elsewhere um so that's what's happened and i'll throw my two cents in here my bit of commentary my bit of commentary is i am not a fan of activism in general uh, in general, I think it's all a little bit weird. There, there we go. There's his hand. You can look at that whilst I give you a bit of commentary. I think it's all a little bit weird. I know that you might look at this guy and think, oh, weird. Why, why are you saying this is weird? This isn't that weird. Come on, he doesn't, he doesn't look that weird. Look, the guy has got a chunk of tarmac as a hand for the rest of his life. Now, I don't know if that is going to be the case. Maybe he'll figure out a way to remove this but the emergency workers they, they just set him off on his way didn't they there you go mate fuck off um you know we've done what we can you shouldn't have done this you're a fucking idiot i'll piss off we've got other things to do um so anyway what one of my thoughts i i am against the grotesque use of oil to some degree i mean i get the argument to some extent where these guys are coming from just stop oil okay oil is a finite resource and um it doesn't really make too much sense to me to use to continue to use a finite resource when there are alternatives uh, and there are alternatives right now so we have electric video uh, electric vehicles and the Technical, technological development of electrical electric vehicles um, is continuing to improve at a rapid pace. So there is no longer the requirement to continue to use oil and other finite resources to the extent that it has been used over the last mm, however long, 100 years, 200 years. Um, so I get it. You know, I'm not against their argument per se. But I'm definitely against their approach. What has this achieved? It's achieved nothing other than making himself look like a complete fucking idiot and destroying the use of his hand in all likelihood, certainly for a period of time. This has cost the taxpayer a lot of time, a lot of money. Look at all of the officers here. There are dozens 
of officers, dozens of emergency uh, medical workers. All the vehicles, they've had to close down this road. Perhaps they've had to close down other roads. What else could these workers that are all paid by the taxpayer, what else could they have been doing for the several hours that they were cutting this guy's hand out of the road? You know, they could have been working out solving some crimes. They could have been responding to other people that were injured or in need of medical assistance. Uh, but no, this guy wanted to make a political point in such a dramatic fashion. Um, he probably wanted to go viral. He wanted the the group's name, the group's message to go viral. And I suppose he's won in that regard. Um, but at what, what expense? I mean, the expense to the taxpayers and also the, it's cost him his pride, I would think. I mean, how can someone that looks like that have any shred of self-esteem left? How can you, mate? Your hand is looks like it's covered in poop, number one. And it's not really a hand anymore, is it? It's like a slab of concrete. You've got concrete hands, you know? Is that what you were hoping to achieve? Do you think your parents are proud of you? I would ask if you if you if you, if your girlfriend would be proud of you, but you know, let's be realistic here. So there we go. There's this uh, article here. There's not too much more to say. Uh, here's a poor, deluded, mentally ill guy, in my opinion, as a layman. I don't know. I'm not diagnosing him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Couldn't you have just been a little bit more balanced? Oh, we should really stop using oil. Oh, we should stop using oil. Oh, hang on. Hang on. In Germany, you've got several car manufacturers, VW, Mercedes, BMW, and others, all of which, all of which, are pumping out multiple different models of electric vehicles. You know, the uptake, the growth of electric vehicle adoption in Europe in particular has actually been quite impressive over the last decade. I think in Norwegian, uh, sorry, in uh, Scandinavian countries in particular, Norway, Sweden, I think I'm right in saying. You know, Tesla, one of the world's, well, I think its stock value is currently in the midst of plummeting, but up until recently, it's been one of the world's most valuable companies. The uh, stock value-wise, the most valuable automobile company in the world by far they produce very very good quality vehicles as far as i understand in my opinion uh, i've never owned one never driven in one never been in one but i'm impressed from what i see i mean what's my point my point is yeah just stop oil yeah we should in my opinion reduce our um can't think of the right word but our dependence on oil and we now have the opportunity to move away and guess what we are moving away you don't need to do this kind of thing if you were if you really felt a need to do this you should have done it 20 years ago mate it's a bit pointless to do it now electric vehicles are here um, again having said that the part that i can't argue with him is that he has made himself a viral meme you know he's gone viral so you know in that regard, it's worked. I'm going to wrap things up. Take care.